Right, okay, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make this pretty cool improvised bino harness that will accept just about any binocular, including outsized ones like this, and comfortably fix them to something like your backpack. And all you need is a piece of cord, or even an old shoestring like this, and a multi-tool. So something like your Swiss Army knife. And we're gonna start right now. Hello, my name is Jason and welcome to Best Monarch Reviews. So today I'm just about to head out um, into some forests behind my house over there uh, to test the low light capabilities of some binoculars that I haven't tested in for testing as well as just to see if I can find out, find any wildlife in like low light situations using my brand new and super cool thermal imaging phone. The link to that is down below. Uh, but I digress. I, I was about to head out and I, I needed a bino harness because I carry a bunch of gear with me. Obviously I'm filming and things like that and I'm always carrying more than one set of binoculars so you know it, it makes sense for me to have some ways to, especially when I'm comparing binoculars, it's nice to have two side by side and when you're walking around I need um, ways of carrying binoculars. Um, I have a number of harnesses inside that are suitable for standard binoculars um, and even you know quite large ones but when you start getting uh, binoculars that are completely oversized or strange shaped like these Poro prisms, these Steiner Night Hunters are, for my money, one of the best low light performing binoculars out there. But they are big and chunky and they have, a, whilst a comfortable to hold shape, um, there's not many bino harnesses that accept them. I do have one, it's called a Cotton Carrier, I have reviewed it, link down below, but for the life of me I couldn't find it today. So I remembered back to uh, an old trick that I had, a, a camping trip or a survival trick that I saw on a, some other YouTube channel once, whereby you can make a really secure attachment uh, system using nothing but a cord and a little um, piece of wood that, and, and you just fashion and make a little hole into it. Um, so it makes it a really secure way to carry things. And on top of that, um, it has a nice locking mechanism. So, so it's not only secure, but it, it locks in place. And then on top of that, it's just also really easy to um, open it out. So whilst yes you could just use uh, some sort of a knot, um, I really like this this simple solution to fixing things, not only binoculars, I mean uh, in, in the sort of survival uh, arena or camping and that, this sort of technique is used quite often for carrying like um, bundles of wood and things like that because you can lock them all together using this, this system, see how it locks in place? And once you get back to camp, you, you merely twist this sideways and it opens out. And so it, it also makes, uh, as I found out, a really nice way to carry a set of binoculars and, and attach it to a backpack. So um, yeah, it won't be suitable for everyone because you do need to have a backpack or something to fix it to. Um, a backpack, if you have a good one like this, um, it's, it's really nice because the actual weight of the binoculars, especially if you're carrying a big chunky pair of binoculars like these, um, the weight of the binoculars is carried by the straps of the back. So it becomes a really, really comfortable way and uh, a nice way to have your binoculars um, hanging on the front of your chest and you can just pick them up and use them as and when you want to. So I have, I've made just a quick uh, video of how I put uh, this one together. Um, you know, it took me, you know, 10 minutes, something like that. And I have got an almost completely free Bino harness that I can go out and use today, which I thought would be quite useful to quite a lot of you guys out there.
Right, okay, so now that you've constructed your cord, to convert it into a binocular harness is really, really simple. All you need is a backpack, you know, so something like this is, is ideal because it has a, a hoop, a loop on the side, sorry. So, uh, and, and many backpacks and things will have something or a, a hand strap you can use, whatever. So you just literally tie the, the one end of, the, of your cord uh, to that in some way. You could actually even uh, create two of these knobs and, and, and use it to fix on one side and then use the other side to fix to your binoculars. Now to fix uh, this cord tie to your binoculars or indeed anything else is pretty simple once you get your head around it. Uh, practice a few times and it becomes second nature. So, so basically you have your, your cord like this, um, you wrap, you put the, put the noose around that bobble over there and then whatever whatever you want to fix securely to it, you just you just go like that. And as you can see, it gets it gets really secure. I mean, that's quite tight now. If I don't speak quick enough, my hand is going to go blue and drop off. So once it's fixed to whatever you want, as I say, it's it's really tight, and and you can move it around, and it will stay securely in place. Then to release it, all you simply have to do is twist the bubble like that, and hey presto it comes out. So as you can see it's really really simple and once you get your head around just how it works it's really simple to do. Now with a pair of binoculars it'll depend you know on your binoculars and, and vary from model to model but I found with these basically what I did is I simply uh, wrapped it around the center of the binocular like this, pulled it tight like this and in between the eyepieces there hasn't, I haven't got it quite right but you should just slide it around like this, but you get the idea. So, oops, there we go. I've tightened it. So as you can see, it's a, it's a really good way to, to hang your binoculars. Um, and as I said, with the backpack, it's a really comfortable way. Then if you want to remove them, it's as, as before, is you simply just twist it and it comes out. Right, okay, so I just wanted to show you another way of sort of mounting the binocular onto your harness, as it were. Um, once it has been attached to your backpack, Another very easy way, obviously this is the way you'll probably be doing it most often, is having um, this cord attached to your, to your backpack. So you would just pull it over your shoulder like this. You have the cord ready to fix. And you know, perhaps you, you don't want to carry, um, you know, perhaps you're carrying something else heavy. I don't know, let's say an ax or whatever. And this could be, this cord you can use for a number of things. It doesn't only have to be your binoculars. But there you see, I've just used the weight of the binoculars to actually uh, pull that uh, locking mechanism close. And there you have it. As you can see, I've got the binoculars securely hanging from my, from my chest. But as you can see, the harness, um, you know, I'm, I'm holding the camera with the tripod. And um, so I've got both my hands free and the binos are able to just hang quite comfortably from, you know, from the bag. Um, as I said, I don't think you know, if there are definitely better harnesses out there, but the fact that, you know, it cost me nothing, I used an, an old shoestring and just cut out a piece of wood from a tree over there, um, is pretty cool. Is this going to uh, take the place of every single binder harness out there? No. You know, I really appreciate a, a good binder harness. I have a link to a number of reviews and tests that I've done of ones down below. But um, something like this could get you out of a bind. Like for me, for example, for today, I couldn't find the only one that I have that would fit um, a large binocular like this. Or, you know, or perhaps you, you don't have a binocular harness and you don't feel like going and spending, I don't know, uh, you know, at minimum $20 or, you know, some of them cost many, many hundreds of dollars. Um, and you just want something quick and easy, you know, say you are camping and you need to go and do something and use both your hands and keep them free. But at the same time, you'd like to keep your binoculars with you. This can be something that you can just quickly whip up as and when you need it, and, and hey presto, you're off. So I hope that you found this video uh, interesting and uh, you know perhaps even useful. If you have, and if you do try and um, use this, I'd love to get your thoughts and comments down below. So that being said, I'm gonna go and head out now. I've got some, a bunch of testing to do. I wanna get out there before it gets a bit too hot. Um, and I will see you again next time. So thanks very much for watching. Cheers for now.